Jim's getting ready to start plowing for the first time this year. We had to go out and get the plow out of the shed. And that was really not a fun job, but because I really wish the horses were plowing it, pulling it out of the shed instead of me and Jim. We did use a skid steer, but that's a pretty different than me. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> even just steadying the pole and everything was quite a challenge. And I wish I'd had it on camera because the pole came right out, and it was actually pretty funny. Uh, probably not at the time, but it did turn. It was funny. So today Jim has a mixed team here. We've got Lady and we've got Ken. My two uh, favorite horses of the four. We've had Lady since she was a colt. So she's been around here a long time. Actually we have Ken as a colt too. So. Um, so they've both been around a long time. Ken's a little, he gets a little nervous around cameras and all that, but he's a very sweet horse. And we have Buck. He's an old guy, but he still has an awful lot of energy. everybody today. Well, we're going to try something we've never done before. Two different things, actually. This is March what? What's the date today? 27th or 28th. I can't remember. And uh, I don't think I've ever plowed in March. I plowed in April, of course, but never in March, so this will be the first time. It's drying out quite nice, uh, but we did get some rain yesterday, and uh, hopefully it'll still be okay. So we're going to give it a try. Um, but I'm going to try one other thing new. I would normally, if you could come around here. I have always plowed with three the same way most everybody does, which is a hit uh, center horse has no, his rig lines are not on him. So the lines from the outside horses, of course, will go to him. And then this horse, the outside horse, does not have a line. So I use this short strap, this short strap here, and I go to the, to the hame. A lot of people go to the bits, but I go to the hame. Um, but today, I'm going to do something different. I went last fall to the Amish harness shop and he made me up some straps. I can't remember how long they are, but we're going to put on a, a second center uh, strap line and so that I will have a line on all three horses and I'll sh I feel I'm going to have a lot better control than that short strap that's just hitched to their hames and uh, we'll, we'll see how it works. Um, so that's what I'm going to put on now. So he just made me up some nylon, nylon lines, nothing fancy, um, but that's what we're going to use. This morning I took uh, the two blacks out and ran the hay down to the cows. So I got that job done.
I got big hopes for this third line or second line, however you want to look at it. But I don't know how well it will work. I'm sure it's going to take some adjusting. Bill's going to have a rough afternoon being by himself. So when team lines come from the harness maker, there's always a few a few holes for adjustments. And I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how where this should set up. But all we can do is experiment. That's gonna this go to lady. As probably most of you know, the different holes are for, are for a few things. You can spread them apart to make your horses spread apart, or you can adjust them to bring your horses together. I actually have horses that, in a lot of ways, don't work that well together as far as their gait and their speed is so different that I'm continually adjusting lines to try to keep them together where they should be. Um, so we'll, I'm sure we'll have to adjust a lot today, but I'm just gonna drive around the yard here and just see if I'm anywhere near right. Hey. Every time you hitch onto a new implement, it's always difficult to remember what length to put your hooks at. Um, I'm going to try to go with the fourth from the back, but I'm just guessing. I hitched to a lot of different implements so it's just hard to remember the right length for each one. As you see my plow has is all greased up and ready to go. Last fall I used whatever paint I happen to have which was, was orange and painted the moldboard um, so that hopefully 
it will scour properly right from the get-go. If you don't do that, you gotta plow for a while just to get it scouring properly. This is a white horse plow. It's a two-way plow. Uh, it is designed to plow up the furrow and turn directly around and plow right back down the same furrow with the opposite plow. I have noticed a lot of people have been buying these plows and it seems like they're just plowing like a regular one bottom and just going around around the field, which is fine, but that's not what they were designed for. They were designed to go right back and forth to completely eliminate any dead furrows. Um, and that's why I, I like it because I, my field has been getting dead furrows that aren't getting plowed back in the right spot, so I, I'm getting kind of rough fields. So I'm hoping to smooth my field out using this plow. Um, this also has the leaf spring. So when you hit a stone, the plow will just automatically snap right up and go snap right back down in and the horses don't even stop. They just keep right on going if things go well. Um, when you're years ago, especially in Vermont and New England, they use these two-way plows all the time. Not as heavy duty as this one, of course, but a lot smaller versions of this but they use just two horses. And with two horses, it's so much easier when you come to the end of the furrow to sidestep them around and go right back in. When you have three horses, it's a lot more difficult. Not sure if that's right, but all we can do is try. Okay. We'll try. Swing around to the end. Step to the end. Lines going across ten back to the center there, and I'm not still not sure I have it right. We're gonna try it. first furrow down to the field is not plowed very deep and that's okay, that's what I want. Um, the next, it takes two or three passes to get the depth the way I want it. I shoot to get as straight of a first furrow as I can, but sometimes that's hard to do. As you might have seen, when I get to the end of the row, all I had to do is push this put lever right here. And the, because of the way that's set up, the plow comes right up automatically. 
If I look back, yeah, seen better, seen worse. Could have been straighter, but can't really see over the horses very well anyway, so I can live with that. Perfection is something you shoot for, but it sure isn't something I plan on achieving, but I do shoot for it. So now we'll get swung around and head back up. Hopefully in the next couple days I'll get another video out of me doing some serious plowing. Hope you have a great day.